may politicians of every nation ensure employers give equal opportunities and pay to women. Lord, Mother of all, as those who marched before us, may we cry with the wind in hope that at last a new dawn may be breaking. At a time when all will be judged by their ability and not by their appearance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We held in our prayers all women who remain second-class citizens, who are subjugated, who struggle living in poverty in war zones, with illness. Lord, Mother of all, give the ignored voice, the abused courage to tell their story. Help us to have open minds and open hearts, fearless in faith and with new sight given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Lord, Mother of all, help us to go from this place to rouse the complacent and stir up the unaware in memory of all who campaign for women's votes and have campaigned for women's rights, working together in your name to recognize the wrongs of the past and end the wrongs of today. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, Saviour of all, irrespective of gender, race, or background. Amen. 1918 was undoubtedly a year in which Britain changed forever. There must be some irony in that within a few weeks of the end of the most horrendous war the world has ever seen, some women were able to vote for the future that they wanted for this country for the very first time. We know that women played a very important part during that awful war, and indeed the one that followed 20 years later. But sadly, 100 years later, we are still struggling for the real equality of women with men. Celebrating International Women's Day in Morpeth may have a very uh, relatively small impact on the world scene, but we must never forget that we are really at the heart of something very special because we do have Emily Wilding Davison in our midst. For the last 15 years or more, a group of us have tried to make sure the true story of Emily uh, is not only known to the wider public, but has an increasing impact on young people of today. We have seen the evidence of that uh, in, in today's service. And I believe the future of uh, women's suffrage in Morpeth and surrounds is in very secure hands. Some of you may not know that Morpeth will later this year have a phys physical tribute to both Emily and the suffragette movement in Carlisle Park, where we will have a statue. I want to thank the Thumbling County Council and Morpeth Town Council for putting their energies behind that. And we're particularly pleased to welcome the sculptor, Ray Lonsdale, to today's service. We hope that the statue will bring lots of people to Morpeth, not only to admire the statue, but to ask questions about what Emily stood for, what women's equality is about. Bear in mind, Emily remains one of the very few people named in the national curriculum uh, to be explored by students. We hope to welcome you back in this church or, or whatever on the 14th of December uh, because we know that Northumberland County Council are planning and they're still telling us the details but a special event to actually celebrate the day uh, that women first had the chance to vote for what they believed in 14th of December 1919 so please remember Friday the 14th of December 2018 and come here thank you all very much I don't want to do self-cosmetic stance in this course, so she's going to do the same.